All right, we're back with another box video documentation. This one is going to be number 21. And as always, um, key books will be time stamped in the description. So let's get to it. This is number 21, and this is a bunch of Wolverine books. So let's get to it. Here is. Wolverine number two in 2012, 2011, something like that. I, I'm not sure. 2010, maybe. In same series number five. And these are pretty identifiable by the trade dress. They, uh, they seemed to change the trade dress every new series, which is good that they do that because it helps you keep track of what's what. Here's number three. Okay, here's, you can see a new, uh, a new trade dress. This is the Marvel Now series. And this is number six. And I have two of these. Here's the other. Okay. And this might be entirely Wolverine, this whole box. Here's uh, number five. I am a fan of Marvel's Merry Mutant Wolverine. Number nine. I am a fan. Number ten. Here is eleven. Number two, um, this is the 2003 series, number seven, this is the original series, this is number 186. And I have two of those. One eighty six. This is a cool cover. This is number forty eight from I don't know what series. The two thousand ten or this is probably that same two thousand three series. Probably. Hard to tell. Number 37. And this is a cool one. This is a Marvel Knights variant edition of number 36. Okay. Here's number 42. Here's 34. Hey, this is, uh, this book is, um, uh, newsstand. I just caught that. This, uh, Wolverine number 42 is newsstand. Interesting. I gotta really be watching out for these tags. And I have been for the most part. And I just caught this one. Newsstand edition. Here is number 34. Here is number... 31. Okay. 
here is Marvel Now era number one. That's a cool cover. I have two of these. There's one and here's one. Oops. Be careful. Okay. Here's number four. This is Return of Wolverine, number two. The Return of Wolverine. This is a kind of a one-shot. Not kind of. This is a one-shot called Wolverine Exit Wounds. And it is a brand new tale. Brand new tales by Claremont, Laraco, Laraca, Larry Hama. That's cool. Cool book. Here is Wolverine number 311. Wolverine. Here's number 307. And another 307. Here we have 303, and here we have 304, number 306, I have two of these, here's one and here's the other. Okay. And here is number 21. I'm not sure, but one of these is a key. It's either 20 or 21 or something like that. There's another number 21. I have two of them. And now here's number 20, and I don't know which one of these is key. I have two of these. Here is Wolverine 17. Here's number 16. Number 14. And number 13. And number 4. This is uh, that 2010 series, I believe. Okay. This is also that 2010 series. And it's the blank variant. And you know what? I finally, somewhat recently, discovered what these blank variants are for. They're for taking to cons and having the artist or whatever sketch on it. Or signatures or whatever. I never knew that. I just thought they were blank for the heck of being blank. And here is a cool cover. It's... Um, Wolverine number one, the Arthur Adams variant. I think this is a 1 in 25 from that series. It's that, uh, that 2010 series. Here is all new Wolverine number 34. So apparently I will have some all new Wolverine in here. Here's Wolverine 302.
And here's 305. I have two copies of this. 305. And here is 302. Wolverine. Here's 308. And I have two of these. 308. Here is 310. And 301. Here is number 15, I'm going back to the 2003 series, okay, number 30, here is Wolverine Patch, number 1. And this is key book. Okay. Here we have uh, Wolverine number 18, current series. And this is Wolverine number 17 and this is the Joe Jusco uh, Marvel Masterpieces variant it's a cool cover okay here is Old Man Logan 39 okay here is Wolverine number 131. And this one is some kind of a uh, error book or something like that. Here is Wolverine number 183. And I have another one of those. 183. Here we have Wolverine Origins number one variant edition. Variant edition. Okay. Here is All New Wolverine. It's the last issue of All New Wolverine. It's 35. Here is The Hunt for Wolverine. The Claws of a Killer. Number one. Okay. Here's Old Man Logan, number 29. Here is Old Man Logan, 38. Wolverine number three. Wolverine number seven. Uh, 
Number four. Number 19. Number five. I think this is the current series. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. I know this is that 2010 series. This is number one. Here is number six. And number 5.1. 5.1. Number 14. Number 16. Here is Wolverine, the best there is. Number one. And I'm pretty sure I have another copy of this somewhere. And here is number three. Yes, this is current series. You can tell by the t this trade dress is current. <clears throat> and this is Marvel Tales. Number one, featuring Wolverine. It's just, uh, I believe it's just reprints of Wolverine stories. It's a big square bound book. It's a great big book. Okay. Here is number 12. This is a cool one. This is Wolverine. Number 75. And here is one of the very first books that I remember buying. This is 1995. Wolverine number 100 with this hologram type cover it never really I mean you have to get it just right to see it I don't think the camera picks it up at all but uh, yeah I remember this was one of the first books I ever bought here we have Wolverine number 175. Okay. That was Wolverine number 100, by the way, that hologram one. Now, these books are kind of strange. This is Wolverine number 32. And this one is the regular cover. And then the next one I have is a black and white variant of number 32 and it's way thinner it's like a completely I mean way thinner book okay here is Wolverine number 185 Okay, I cut away for a little bit because I wanted to rebag and board these four books.
I have Wolverine, the original series, number four. And this is a nice 9.4-ish book. None of these are 9.8. One of them has a big crease. Number two is the worst. The best is number one, thankfully. But this one's really pretty sharp too. It's kind of it's got some color rubbing right here. Yeah. Anyway, I was just pointing out this one's got a little bit of color rubbing right through here. And the corners are really pretty good. So it's, it's a nice book. Yeah. That is number four. And that's direct edition, that one. This one is number three, which is a newsstand copy. And number three as well. The only thing number three has going that's not looking so good is the staple has some color breaking ticks right there, right at the staple. Other than that, it's sharp. That's number three. Now, number two is the worst one. And it's not terrible. Here's number two. It actually, you know, presents really well. But it has a big old crease right, right there. See it? Big color break increase. Yeah. New stand. It's still a nice copy. And this is number one. And it's new stand. And number one looks really nice. There are no ticks on the spine. nice book nice corners no creases the back of it's nice this is the nicest one of all four but uh, yeah these books funny story I got that set in a used bookstore all four of those were stuffed into one bag. And I paid $20 for the bag of four. And actually, now that I think about it, it had two of each in it. So I had two complete sets of this, this run. Two number ones, two number twos, threes and fours. All stuffed into one bag that I paid $20 for. And that was about 20 years ago in a used bookstore. True story. Okay, here is Wolverine number 316. Wolverine number 312. Here is Wolverine 39. Wolverine Origins 39. And here's another copy. I have to fight saying Wolverine Oranges so bad when I see Origins. I want to say Wolverine Oranges so bad. <laughs> it's funny. Here is Wolverine Origins number 40. Here is number 187, Wolverine. Number 188. Wolverine, Road to Hell, one shot.
cool. Here is Wolverine number 189. Wolverine. Here is Wolverine. Old Man Logan number 67. Okay. This is number 314. Looks like Wolverine Indiana Jones. Here's number 315. This is Savage Wolverine number one. Savage. Now here is Wolverine Old Man Logan number 66. This is a key book. And man, I was hoping that I would find that in newsstand. But nope. Not, no, not. No such luck. Here is Wolverine number eight. That's that original 2003 series. Here is number 184. And I have two copies of this. One eighty four. Okay. This is uh, Dark Wolverine number seventy five, second print. Here is 2003 Wolverine number one. And this was an era of comics, the early and mid 2000s. I could not stand the cover art that was coming out on books, especially Marvel, with this painted style. They did so many books in this painted style cover and I couldn't stand that. I was very happy when they got back to doing comic book covers. Yeah, here's another number one. I had two of them. But here's another, you know, perfect example. Marvel was doing this kind of stuff with their covers. This is Wolverine number two. And I really just don't like that painted stuff like that. And I got another one of those. And here is number four. And number six. All right. And this is pretty cool. I'm going to save this. This is Wolverine. This is current series. Number one. And it's a variant. That's a cool book. Okay. All right. Here is Wolverine number 12. From the New 52 era. Or not New 52. The uh, Marvel Now era. Wrong publisher. Here is Wolverine Annual number one. Not sure what... That's got to be from the 2010 series, I would think. Annual. Annual. Here's Wolverine 317. Okay. Yeah, 
And I have Wolverine First Ongoing Series number one. And this book is very nice. The spine is great. Bed press out. Nothing color breaking. Look at that, nice and sharp. No chipping, no nothing. Color's perfect. And if we turn her over, Look at that, this black part of this cover. Beautiful book. I got a couple old books here. I got number one, I got number ten right here. I'm rebagging both of them. And just a quick look at here, number 10. It is another nice book. The spine is great. This is not really a white book. It's kind of an off-white. I don't think it was white to begin with. This right here, that's a printer defect. I don't know if you can see that, if it picks it up. That right there is a printer crease. Those do not affect grade. Let's flip this dude over. Mm. Yeah. It looks good. You got a Wolverine there. Nice book. I'll go ahead and put this one in a new bag and board. And we'll continue on. Okay, and newly protected. Here is that number one. And the 10. Okay, awesome. And these four books right here are awesome. I don't remember. I mean, this is 2009, I think. Either eight or nine. This is Wolverine number 29. I don't know if this is a variant or not. But it's newsstand. So I obviously seen these books out in a grocery store. I, I've told the story in, in a previous video. I used to have a job that I was on the road. And I had an overnight run on my sales route. And I would uh, call on this little mom and pop's grocery store chain. And they sold comic books in each of their stores. They had comic spinner racks, if you can believe it. And this is 2007, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12 even, and you know, maybe even into 13. They all had spinner racks, and some of them actually had comics on the magazine rack. And I never, I mean, hindsight being 2020, I would have loved to have bought everything I could have saw. But I didn't. I spent my money in my comic shop for the most part. But I obviously seen this cover out you know, in that grocery, in one of those grocery stores, and I bought four covers of it. I have four newsstand versions of this, this book. This is the first one. Here's the second. These are all newsstand. Here's the third. Newsstand, every one of them. How about that? 
And here's the last one. That's Wolverine number 29. Newsstand. That's awesome. Here is number 313. Here is number, this is Wolverine The End. It was a, uh, a six-issue miniseries back in the mid-2000s. This is number four. Here is number one. And number five. This is Old Man Logan number 69, Wolverine number 69. Okay, here is number 182. Here is 181. Here's Wolverine number 180. Numero 180. Wolverine number 145. And there are different variations of this book. This one is with the silver foil claws. Shiny claws. Okay. Here's current Wolverine number 13. Here's number 15. Number 33, that's original series, not original, but 2003 series. Okay, this is Wolverine number 1000. That's a one-shot special that they came out with. Okay, here's number three, Wolverine, the best there is, number three. Here's Wolverine, the best there is, number one. That's the other number one, uh, number one I knew I had. I knew I had that book. I knew I had two of them. Here's Wolverine, the best there is, number two. This box has been completely Wolverine. Here's Wolverine number 16, current series. Here is Wolverine 17. goes this way and here is Wolverine number four current series number four and that, that might that's enough I think I don't think I need to put any more in there I'm gonna end it right there I think Can I get more in there? I'm sure I probably can, but I don't need to. I'm, that's it. That's all I'm going to put in there. That is it for this box. Ugh. Oh, that's a nice, 
good full box. There you go, box 21. 100% Wolverine books.